What is up, everybody? It is Wick here. I'm inside of a Goodwill. I'm checking out these new carts that rolled out, trying to find some deals. It's getting harder and harder in this Goodwill to find deals, but we're looking anyway. I've actually got a lot of stuff in my cart right now. Uh, thought I was doing pretty well, but you start looking at this stuff closer, it's either not worth it or it's got problems. So <laughs> it's just the way it goes. There's some stuff, some sealed board games that weren't priced that high, but they just weren't worth anything. They probably checked them on eBay, right? Got a brand new Fisher Price aquarium thing, which probably would have been 70 or $80, but I noticed all the water, or almost all the water had drained out of it. <laughs> So it wasn't in good enough condition to sell. And I'm not 100% sure if you can even refill those or how they work. I was trying to see. Uh, I'd have to open the box, really. And with it being brand new, that's where the value is. So it wouldn't even been worth it to figure it out. So just ended up putting all that stuff back on the shelf. But we're checking the toys anyway. Uh, I'm going to see if there's any kind of great deals here. And there's a lot of stuff, which is common I feel like I'm saying this in every video. If, you, if you're watching every video, you're like, Wick, you always say there's a lot of stuff. You say the same things, but, you know, it's just what it is. It's a grind. You do go to the same places. You see the same stuff at all these Goodwills and places. But you have to go in, you know, every day, um, sometimes multiple times a day to catch, you know, the good stuff. So there's a little glimpse of my car. It should have got some better camera angles of what I had in there. I guess I assumed I was going to be buying some of it, but yeah, I ended up putting all that stuff back. Uh, we should probably play the game of looking for the highest priced item in this Goodwill. Uh, just lots of high priced things. Just basic everyday thrift store items like coffee makers priced you know, $20, $30 when you can buy them brand new at Walmart for cheaper. There's a little car charger. I think that was priced like $5.99. Uh, the new waves, they got two or three there, still there. No one's paying $40 for them, but they keep putting new ones out and pricing them the same. It's, you know, the, the definition of insanity, in my opinion, over here, Christmas stuff. Let me know if you see anything, but again, there's a good chance I checked it and the price was too high, but I don't see anything very special. And the crazy thing is it's obvious that they see some stuff that they think is special that should be priced higher. And you look at this stuff and it's just like, man, this is embarrassing for you <laughs> to whoever thinks this is worth, you know, what you're pricing it at. It's just nothing. Um, there was a pair of, you know, just cheap Chinese shoes, you know, the ones that say fashion on them and that's it. Uh, they feel like paper when you touch them. Uh, Goodwill had them priced $20. Like, it just goes to show you they have no idea what that is, uh, that they would price those $20, right? So I'm actually back in the same Goodwill. This is the next day. Uh, this is about four days of thrifting. It was it was pretty dry, but we ended up getting some really good buys. Here's some of these Power Rangers, Megazord, or uh, whatever they are. I'm not even sure. I think they're Power Rangers, right? Um, kind of look like a Voltron. Here's a handheld Yahtzee. I sell these on Amazon pretty well, so $2.99 I picked that up. But the Power Rangers items, I usually pick up those things, right, just to have them. Uh, they're not worth a whole lot by themselves. They go with a, another set, but that one was $3.99 just for that little piece. And they had some other pieces that were $3.99, some like Power Rangers Imagine X toys that were also like $3.99. So I don't know, you know, what they're thinking. Just not worth picking up little toys like that for that much, especially when you need a bunch of the pieces. So ended up putting all those back. Uh, checking out over here, this thing, it's $35. You know, people don't usually buy those. That's an off-brand. And yeah, just looking around, trying to find something else. And yeah, got the, the Yahtzee at least. Uh, not bad at $2.99. Uh, I can sell it on Amazon. Uh, a little bit of money on eBay. What else do we see here? Uh, don't see anything else right now. Oh, here's a <laughs> printer I found for $39.99. Uh, just one of those photo printers. Not worth it at all. 
Uh, but yeah, it's there for $40. Hopefully someone doesn't get tricked into buying that. I know a lot of people, they, they see that price $40 and they might think it's you know a good deal just because it's Goodwill. Uh, here's a Bose speaker. And I'm like, oh boy, what's the price on this? $4.99, you know, not bad actually. It's not a great speaker by any means. And I looked everywhere. I couldn't find the other speaker. But <laughs> just feeling a little, you know, like I should buy it. I'll make a little bit of money. The Bose stuff moves so fast. Uh, even if you're only, I'm probably only going to make like $12 on that speaker in the end. But I think it's worth it just because of it's Bose and it just moves so fast. And I'm not finding much else, right? So over here, you got some Fire King mugs and dishes. Just not worth it at $2.99 a piece. Uh, they're nothing very special. Not the desirable stuff. So got a Yahtzee game, a Bose speaker. Wish I had both Bose speakers, though. Uh, probably going to price the speaker. 20 bucks plus shipping. Again, it will sell. Somebody will want it. And some baskets. Baskets, my goodness. Upwards of $20 at that Goodwill. But check this out. I go into another Goodwill. Got a really good pair of shoes there. I'll talk about those in the haul. Um, not marked up. Uh, $4.99. Uh, this Goodwill. We got some baseball bats that look pretty promising. And some uh, d mini DV tapes. I need to test some camcorders that I got. So might as well pick those up. Uh, checking out the Christmas stuff. Hoping to find a good deal in this one. Not seeing uh, very good stuff though, unfortunately. It's just the way it is. Uh, here though, I find some decent looking Keen shoes. Down here, I see some Nike shoes. They're priced up uh, to $10, which I thought they were 20 at the time. And I was willing to buy them at 20 just because they're a rare pair that looks like they're selling for over $100. So... When an, a, a good pair of shoes is priced, you know, ten, twenty dollars, you can sell it for a hundred. It's not that bad, right? But the problem is, a lot of these shoes are not good, <laughs> uh, and they're priced twenty, thirty dollars. So, yeah, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. I think it's just whoever's pricing. They're like, oh, I like this pair of shoes. This is twenty dollars, and you know, it's just basically a slot machine, right? So we're back checking out the toys. Uh, it's, again, it's another day. We're seeing if there's anything new, and there is. Uh, one of these cash flow games used to be a big bolo back in the day. Uh, still holds some value, still worth picking up at $6.99 in good condition, I think. So we're going to grab that. Another Imagine X Power Rangers thing. Uh, those, you know, I only pick them up if they're in like a big box with a lot of stuff. Uh, though there's some that are worth picking up by themselves, some rare pieces. If you happen to come across those, this was intriguing. It was like a Jurassic Park. Uh, well, it was a nightlight of some sort. I looked it up. It just wasn't selling for much. Not worth picking up even at $5. You know, maybe you could double your money on it. I can't remember the sell through rate. It's just, I'm not going to buy something to make five bucks. Here's this mousetrap game, and I actually had this in a video recently where I was counting the pieces. It was 100% complete, in great condition. So for $5.99, I put it back up there because it's like, I don't want to buy that. But uh, I talked myself into it. I'm kind of glad I did. It ended up being complete, like I said. So I think I can make some money on it. I've already had some people interested in it. Somebody sent me a message asking me if all the pieces were there, even though I, I said all the pieces were there. I said, yes. They asked me if the metal ball was there. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and then they don't buy it. So it's just weird how people are on eBay, right? But let me show you everything I found today. Some amazing deals. Going to make some money on them. Check it out. This is what I found and a couple bangers in here, really. I'll start back here with this little Bose speaker. I could only find one of these, uh, not the other. But I got it because it was $4.99. At this point, you know, finding something to sell at this particular Goodwill is pretty difficult. Really surprised they didn't price this like $50 or something insane because it's just what they've been doing and it wouldn't have surprised me. 
but I paid $4.99 for it. Sometimes people just have one speaker that goes bad. They need a replacement. You know, I'm only going to be able to sell this one, even though it's Bose, a great name. Uh, for probably $20 plus shipping is where I'm going to price it at. It's one of those toss-up items. One day I may pass on it. One day I may buy it. This was one of those days I bought it. And Bose, the name always sells. It's picked up some pretty good shoe deals today. I got these dogs sandals. They're brand new. I saw them and I'm like, these are not going to be worth picking up. I'm not going to pay $5 for them. Because uh, I think they sell between like 15 25 max. But then I flipped it over and I saw that they were $0.99. Cents and I said, well... If they're new and 99 cents, I'll happily take them. This is something I probably will be pricing 15 or $20. But being new, they're easy to list. Uh, they're easy to sell. I wouldn't buy them used, probably even at 99 cents. But I'll make some money on them just because they're so cheap. I also picked up these Keen shoes. They're pretty cool design. I might even have kept them if they were my size. Good condition overall. These were not priced up. So I was able to pay $5 for them. I'll probably price them $25 plus shipping. But these Nikes, however, are really good. And to my surprise, when I got home, I saw these were $9.99. And I thought that I thought the tag said $19.99 when I first saw them. So it's like, oh boy, they're back to pricing Nikes. You know, any Nike at some of these Goodwills, they'll price $20 and up. In this case, these are actually worth being priced up because uh, new, they sell for around $200. And I'm pretty sure these are new or at least close enough to new that I can sell them as, you know, new with defects, possibly been tri tried on, you know, I'll put in the comments. And I'll probably price them $120. I saw some pre-owned selling for over $100, so these should have no problem selling i guess it's just a more rare color maybe style i'm not sure you just never know with nike shoes this is why you look them up and well here's another pair of super valuable nike shoes i saw these and i thought eh, they're probably not going to be that great i'm no expert on these i see kobe shoes i see all kinds of different you know players and models and some of them are pretty good some of them are just not good but when i looked at the tag if we can see it in here probably not going to be able to see it very well i saw that the tag said nike id and i'm no again no expert on this but i think they changed nike id to like some other thing like nike by you or something or similar uh what that is is you design your own shoes and some of the different shoe models that are nike ids can actually be worth a lot of money so when i looked up the the style number on the tag which i usually do to find out if they're worth anything you just see a bunch of different colors and designs some of them upwards to a thousand dollars for this shoe and certain designs, people are trying to get uh, some comps. I saw on like Terapeak and some other places, uh, like $750 for different colors. I really don't know because these are unique. I don't think there's going to be another pair exactly like it. Like you can customize it here. Uh, this person had love put on it. Uh, DH, which I'm assuming they're probably the initials of the previous owner. Honestly, I'll probably price these at least $250 to see if somebody will buy them. Uh, you know, you could price them really high. They're not in perfect condition. They do have a little you know, dirt around there. I think on one of these shoes, like this one here, whatever was there is... <laughs> <laughs> kind of been rubbed off so i don't have a lot of you know experience selling these nike id shoes and honestly this color scheme is just not very exciting compared to some other ones so i don't know i'll probably just price them 250 if they sell immediately i guess i i had something better than i thought but i don't know if they'll sell for 250 i might have to sell them cheaper it's just a lot of comps in the 250 range for this particular shoe style um in different designs so we'll give it a shot so between these four pairs of shoes got some high-end ones one's going to be some great money. Here's a Exploding Kittens Good versus Evil. Looks like card game, card expansion for the original game. It's $3.99. I decided to pick it up because on eBay I was seeing some comps hit around $25 with free shipping, which I can do free shipping on this. It's not going to cost much to ship it. Now in the end, I'm hoping to make right around $13 profit after fees and everything, so it should be pretty good. Easy to list, being new sealed. If you've watched my channel enough, you know I pick up these handheld Yahtzee games, especially the gold one, which I've, I've sold new multiple times for like $150 on Amazon. This one was $2.99, which again, at this Goodwill, I'm surprised they didn't price it higher. I mean, you used to find these all the time for like a dollar in Goodwill, $2 max. Of course, I find them at garage sales and rummage sales for like a quarter. But for whatever reason, people will buy these. The battery was dying in it. It was running slow, but 
I, uh, all the buttons were working, I was able to test it before buying. I sell these on Amazon between $30 and $45. They also sell on eBay fairly well. If you're getting them cheap enough, they have a good sell-through rate. And I only buy them to sell on Amazon if they're in really good condition like this. Uh, the scoring rule paper on the back's good and everything. So, yeah, this one qualifies. I'll take it. Got some baseball equipment here, some bats and a glove. Uh, this glove was $6.99. It's a good condition Easton glove. I should be able to make at least $20 profit on that based on the comps I was seeing. Then we got a couple bats, Louisville Slugger, Omaha Series, and this Easton Threat bat now. Comps on these were looking pretty good i think i'm making around 20 dollars a piece profit on these i paid 2.99 for them i'll have to double check the the models because sometimes the sizes the ounces and all that it does matter on the price but from what i was seeing they look promising so between the baseball bats and glove i should get at least 60 dollars profit between it all here is something that takes me back this is the cash flow game this used to be a, a big you know, bolo item eight years ago. It's still good, it has fallen off, but I remember when these things were selling on Amazon, $100, $150. They'll still sell between 60 and 80. However, I think it's restricted. It's very hard to sell these now on Amazon. I'll have to check. There's a bunch of different listings for them. Like maybe I can sell on one, we'll see. But also on eBay, I should be able to make at minimum $20 profit on this game. I remember way back making a video, I think, on these when I, I found one. Crazy, I think I have like over 800 videos on my channel now just from the past decade. I should go back and watch some of them and make recordings of me reacting to some of my old videos that might be entertaining because I probably don't remember 99% <laughs> of what's out there, right, that I have on my YouTube channel. Anyway, should make at least $20 profit on that. I think combined, I'll make at least $20 profit on these. Their replacement cart cartridges for the Leapfrog, or is it Leapfrog? I guess it's just Quantum Leap. I'm not sure if it's Leapfrog makes it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Leapfrog brand. These are only $1.99, and uh, yeah, I think I'll actually sell on Amazon. I might get a decent amount more. I know there was one on Amazon, but they, there wasn't any sellers on there, which means I can pretty much name my own price. Might be able to get $40, $50 for one of them. So I might try that. But some of them on eBay, I'm making at minimum $20 profit between the two. Then finally, I got this vintage mousetrap game from 82, I believe. And I was really debating buying this, right? I hate this game. <laughs> I hate how there's so many pieces. I think because... Well, the reason I hate it, I remember going to a garage sale as a kid with my mom and getting one of these and getting it home, trying to set it up. It was missing pieces. Nothing was working right. And I'm just like, I hate this. <laughs> but I noticed how good the uh, the box was. And you know, I know the original one from, uh, what is it, like 63 will sell for like $60, $75 complete in good condition. When I looked it up, however, I noticed I saw one with this box from 82 in good, complete condition. It sold for $50 plus shipping. And I'm like, oh, geez. If this is complete in good condition, I will do pretty well, I think, on it. It was $5.99, and I did pop it open in the store, and I noticed how well taken care of it was. The things are in bags. The instructions are in there. So I said to myself, I'll give it a shot. At worst case scenario, I'll get my money back and make a little bit of money selling the parts. I'll probably price it similar to the other one, $45, $50 plus shipping. Again, if all the pieces are in good condition, the label here on the box is in great condition. I'll give it a shot and hopefully, you know, let's just say $20 on this item too. A lot of $20 items today. And then here's a Scrabble Flash and well, I think this is a $20 item as well. We can estimate. Sell this on Amazon. I think they were selling for like 30 some dollars. I paid $2.99 for it. It is new sealed. Looks like it came from Walmart there. I'll have to get that sticker off as well. But there it is, everybody. That's my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. YouTube is telling me that only like 35% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. And it helps the video out a lot when you hit that subscribe button and that like button. And I do appreciate it. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.